My co-authors and I are all instructors and we spend a lot of time thinking about students and how students can best learn and how we can help them best learn. And so what I'm really excited about in Camel Biology right now is the visual summaries that are on the first page of the chapter because they set the student up by giving them some of the basics of what they're gonna learn in the chapter and also kind of set them up with a question that they're gonna be answering throughout the chapter. I'm also excited about the study tips uh, which we put on the first page because they help students organize their thoughts as they're going through the chapter. Um, so I, I think that most of what we do is to, to think about the student experiences. What challenges do they face in learning this material? It's a lot of material. It is like drinking from a fire hose. And so we try to keep the concepts really organized in each chapter. And we also try to stop at the end of each concept and ask some questions to make sure the student is still following along. Today's biology students have so many diverse backgrounds, so many uh, different ways of approaching um, the idea of learning. Um, but one of the things I find in common is that they love to see things and have really good visions. Um, and that's one of the things that I fell in love with when I first saw Campbell. And, and that was just that the art um, so clearly communicates the concepts, so clearly um, connects the concepts, um, and so students can really learn just by looking at the art from one figure to another. There's, there's consistency and it, it builds the story as they go through the chapter. So that's one of the things the students really love is um, just the, the visual story that's told in Campbell through art. As one explores nature and appreciates, there's a difference between the forest and the trees and you have to understand both. And one way of overcoming the compartmentalization of science was to make connections. So as you go out in the woods and look at this well, plant with honeysuckle starting to reproduce, um, all light has to reproduce. They do it different ways, but reproduction is a, is a basic component of life. Finding nutrients is important, so plants do it differently from, from animals that photosynthesize. We eat, we eat food, um, but by making connections, biology becomes more cohesive and, and actually easier to learn. Today's students need to meet high standards, whether they're going on to med school or graduate school or other biology courses. So Campbell expects students to meet these high standards. It expects them to be able to analyze data and to master the material to an extent where they can make connections with the real world. But Campbell doesn't just leave them there, it also provides them with all the support that they need to meet these high standards. And even better, it helps the instructor help the student by providing so many different instructor resources that helps instructors not only know how to teach their students, but what to teach their students. As an instructor, I really like the high quality resources that come along with the book, the instructor resources including uh, some great questions with high-level Bloom's taxonomy uh, in homework assignments that can help students really test their understanding and challenge themselves, and correspondingly, a lot of really good test bank questions of high Bloom's level. Campbell Biology meets the needs of today's biology students because it provides a really useful digital interface where the ebook is integrated with a lot of the art and questions that guide students to understand uh, the material as they're working their way through and make connections. You know, it's really a thrill to work on this book. I love thinking about how students think. 